Grade 3 Math, Lesson 36, The Distributive Property of Multiplication. Now, it's very important that this says of multiplication. Okay? So, I want you to also remember that parentheses are always done first, whatever inside the parentheses. Now, here's what this is. If you split a factor, remember, that's a factor, the two things you multiply together to get the product, which is the answer. If you split a factor into add-ins, add-ins are numbers that you add together, and you multiply it by a number, okay, you'll get the same answer if you multiply each add-in to the number. Now, wow, what does that mean? Here's what it means. <clears throat> Let's say you have 3 times 4, okay? You take the 4 or the 3, either one, but you take one of them and you split it into an addition problem, like 2 plus 2, okay? Then you say 3 times 2 plus 2. Or you could say 3 times 2 plus 3 times 2. The distributive property of multiplication says you're going to get the same answer whether you do it this way or this way. You're splitting up one of the factors into add-ins, okay? But the answer will still be the same, okay? Now, if you look at this one, see how there's no times table? See, like here, it says 3 times, parentheses, 2 plus 2, close parentheses. If a number is right up against a parentheses like this, that means to multiply, okay? It means it in algebra, it means it in geometry, it means it in multiplication. This is what it means, okay? So it's right up against there. You don't need to put an x, okay? So, 3 times 2 plus 2. You do what's inside the parentheses first. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12, okay? So let's try one. We had 6 times 5, okay? And the 5 can be split into a 3 and a 2, all right? So what we did was, we didn't do it this way, we did it 6 times 3 plus 2. So we add the 3 plus 2 first, that gives us 5, and then we say 6 times 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 6 times 5 is 30. We could have gone 6 times 3, which is 18, and 6 times 2, which is 12, and we could have added them together, 8 plus 2 is 10, carry the 1, put down the 0, and 1, 2, 3, see? So whether you break it up like this and add these and then multiply it, or you break it up like this and put the 3 here and then the 2 here, you're still going to get the same answer. You're still going to get 30, okay? Let's try it again. What if you had 4 times 3, okay? Well, that's what this is. It says 4 times 3 because 2 plus 1 is 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Let's try it this way. 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 4 times 1. 4 times 1 is 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. See? Distributive property says whether you do it this way or this way, it's still going to be the same answer. Here's our last one. Okay? 1 times 9 plus 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, 1 times 10 is 10, 1 times any number is that number. Try it this way, 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 1 is 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10. So that's the distributive property. Do you think you can remember that? Because it'll come up in the future, and it'll be really good if you can remember this, okay? So it says that you could do it this way or this way, and the answer will be the same, okay? See you next video.